Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and today we are taking a look at a game called Space Haven. Space Haven is a base building space colony sim simulation game, and uh, I don't know a whole lot about it, but it was recommended to me by a couple of people, so we're going to go check it out today. I haven't had a chance to play it yet, so we'll do a new game. I guess we'll leave it on normal. Let's see, normal, embark on a space voyage with your faction crew, build a fleet of spaceships and encounter other spacefaring groups as you explore the galaxy, seeking out the goal of your faction. Okay, so we got to select the scenario here. Let's see, we've got three different ones going on. Let's see, basic platform, you crew of four have left Earth behind and the stars await. First, though, you'll need to build a starship. You have a basic platform and some essential supplies, but you'll need to build everything else yourself. Play this scenario to learn the basics of the game. Okay, so I guess that's where we need to, uh, that's where we need to start. We'll go ahead and hit next. Select difficulty, peaceful, builder, medium, harsh, or brutal. Uh, builder? Play the game with the builder difficulty. Start resources and, and resources found in the galaxy will be plentiful. You will face some adversary on your travels, but still allowing a more relaxed play style. Medium does what? Play the game with medium difficult, uh, difficulty level. Start resources and resources found in the galaxy will be at a medium level, and you will face some adversary on your travels. Okay. So should we do builder or should we do medium? I've never played it before, so I guess let's do builder and let's see if we can figure some stuff out and then we'll go from there. So anyway, let's see crew. We've got four crew. Is any of this changing edible uh, edit editable? I guess that'd be what I'd say. Um, crew number, crew member, mood, base, okay. All this stuff, I can't check or uncheck any of that. Yeah, okay. All right, well, it is what it is. Let's go to the next one. Okay. So, can I, can I randomize people? Can I change people up? What do we got here? We've got a teacher, a computer programmer, a farmer, and a fighter pilot. Okay, so the teacher does what? Um, has some bravery, some zest. Are, are, are we cooking? Uh, usually zest is something we, you know, some citrus zest, I think. How brave the character is. A, oh, no, that's this one. Hold on, zest. How energetic the character is. Okay, so I guess that one's probably not too bad. The computer programmer has a higher intelligence. I'm just kind of looking here to see what we got. What, what is good? What is not good? Medical is a one with that one. Computer programmer medical is a three. Farmer has good perception, has botany, and then the fighter pilot. Um is confident traits revealed after the apocalypse confident okay hold on what was the other ones bloodlust neurotic peace loving okay so is that something that we want is a fighter pilot what does the fire fighter pilot do for us um it's high on perception its intelligence is rather rather high do we have anyone that's good on mining? Everyone's like a three. Okay, so what else do we have? Um, botany's a one. Construct is a two. Medical's a two. Research is a one. We got five on navigation, five on gunner, one on shielding, three on operations. That one would be good for shielding. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Weapons is a one, one, two, and a one. So as far as like individual people's weapons, I think that's what that's referring to. We don't have anyone that's really that high. Um, I wonder if maybe, I mean, we have perception and intelligence. We have it on the 
Yeah, I'm really thinking if we're going to have someone that's brave, maybe we randomized it. Is this the random button? Oh, what do we do here? We've got another fighter pilot. Let's not do a fighter pilot. We got an engineer. We got a scientist. A mining technician. Firefighter. An athlete. An athlete has weapons of three. Perception is four. Zest is four. Two on bravery. Two on intelligence. A um, little bit of everything. That'd give us good... Yeah. I don't know. Athlete sounds good, but at the same time, I'm kind of wondering if there's something better to pick here. Navigator. Game developer. Brewmaster, Cook, Electrician, Lawyer. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking I want someone with like a higher, higher weapons thing. Construction laborer, no. Scientist, no. Fighter pilot, no. Cook, no. Construction laborer, no. Fighter pilot, no. Material mover, no. Psychologist, no. Navigator, no. Airline pilot, no. Medical assistant, no. Brewmaster, computer programmer, navigator, doctor, construction laborer, bartender, blacksmith. Blacksmith is a three. Mining is a two. What is our other ones on mining? Okay. Construction is a four. So that'd be our higher... Okay, so we'd have weapons... So we'd, we'd have to sacrifice stuff on the ship, but everything else would be a little bit higher. Okay, let's do that, because I, I like the construction, and I like the industry. All right. It's dangerous to go alone. Your chances of beating aliens radically improve if you have an away team of four members. Okay. All right. So what do we got going on here? Welcome to Space Haven. Hello, Spacefarer, and welcome to Space Haven. Follow the upcoming blue objectives. Uh, can I pause this? Yes, we can. Follow the upcoming blue objective notifications to be guided through all the basic steps of assembling a working ship. Your crew will follow a schedule, and the icon above their head will, will tell you whether they are currently working, sleeping, or taking some free time. To look after themselves. All three are necessary, so let them work at their own pace and you will soon see your ship come to life. If you find yourself struggling with resources at first, don't be afraid to start a new game and modify your starting resources via the game customization menu, difficulty selection menu. To fit your playstyle, a sandbox mode is also available. Okay, well... I'm going to try to work with what we got here. So let's see what we can do. All right. Auto open new objectives. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Okay. How do I make you go away? Yes, I've already, I've already, I've already looked. I don't. Five seconds in, and I'm already not sure how to make this stuff work. Um, all right, let me let me try to click on someone else. Your crew needs somewhere where they can relax. Place some chairs and couches for them. The HSS Capella click to show location. Okay, here. No tools facility. No tool facility to replenish crew member with build tools. Okay, so we've got to we've got to build stuff here. It's what it's what it's saying. So how do I build? Let's go down here to this. And now what do we got? We've got station hold door, spacesuit door, uh, times two door, times one door. Okay, so I see all that stuff. So we've got furniture down here. So they want us to put a couch and some chairs is what they're saying. But we don't have any tools, missing resources, tools. So, facility, research workbench, uh, toilet, 
Multi-purpose toilet. This toilet is hygienic and capable of transforming human waste into usable water and biomatter operated by a crew member. Okay, so there is recycling, apparently. Uh, once again, let's see. What do we got here? That's research. Okay, so how do I build tools? Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not following here. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. What do we got? Um, can I increase by any chance? Can I increase the UI size? Let me, let me check that real fast. UI scale. Oh yeah, there we go. That that's what we need right there. No, we don't need it that high. Don't need it that high. I kind of think like maybe right there would be good. That gives me that gives me a little bit of stuff. I really can't. What does that say down there? Adjust wall view. Oh, okay. So that's all that says. All right. We're in a box. We are in a box. Okay. So what else do we got going on here in our box? What is this little guy? Storage is full. Okay. What is it full of? Uh, overview. Okay, rules, auto transfer rules between storages on the ship, nothing select, nothing selected, select an item on the left, hull block, no rule, empty rule, no more rule, bring here rule, minimum rule. Okay, I kind of understand what's going on with that, so that's a thing, so okay. So, once again, how how do I get tools? Do I need to unpause it? Is that what's going on? I feel like I have to unpause it for a second for some reason. Okay, that disappeared. So, the next objective, because it said to follow the blue objectives, right? Here we go. Current objective, build a tools facility. All right. Build a tools facility. The tools facility transforms resources to recharge your crew members Handheld construction printer guns, essential for construction of facilities. Okay. So we click on that, and then we just place it somewhere in here, yeah? Okay, I'm just going to place it right there for right now. How do I, how do I speed you up? Do I have to... Ah, it's the F keys. Okay. All right, so now we've got a tool facility. Awesome. So we can recharge our stuff. Uh, let's see, create optimum gas conditions. Build an oxygen generator. Oxygen generators convert water into oxygen and are essential for humans. Okay, let's get us an oxygen gen. Right down here, let me, let me go ahead and close that guy right there. And... I don't know how, I guess that only rotates. Can we, can we not rotate the, the map itself? I guess not. I'll put you down here. What is, what does that mean? What, what just happened? Oh, okay. No, it's still there. I thought it had disappeared, but I guess they, I guess it's just going to take a minute before they go build it. Is that what's going on? Let me see here. Speed that up a little bit. Yeah, they're building it now. Good. All right. Oh, we only built one of them. We got to build a gas scrubber too. Okay. Uh, remove CO2. Okay. So yeah, so we're building one that makes air and then we'll, we're building one that removes CO2. That, that's, that's fine. 
Okay, so go ahead, get that guy built, and we'll see what happens from there. Okay, we're waiting on our next deal. Okay. Build a thermal regulator. All right, the right temperature is essential for people and plants to survive. The thermal regulator will try to maintain a habitable temperature. A bigger ship will require multiple thermal regulators to maintain temperature. Once placed, set the thermal regulator and open up the facility information window to set the desired temperature. Okay, so we're here. So we got one of those, right? No, now we got one of those. Okay, so everything is kind of green right now. Temperature is at 16. Uh, we, it looks like we've got two of those already. We've already got one more right here. Okay, let me place that guy there. Okay, so... Expand the spaceship's hull. Expand the spaceship's hull. Expand your spaceship's hull to create more room for facilities. You can do this from the build menu. Be mindful not to expand too much too quickly as hull expansion costs hull blocks. Expand a little by little as you need more space for facilities on your ship. Your goal is to build a small hyperspace capable ship, then venture out and expand as more resources are acquired. Okay, so let's just go out here and we're going to build some hull. Okay. So that I'm assuming is off limits. We've got this stuff down here. I guess let me, I don't know, let me come down here, I guess, and we'll just kind of. I'll just make a little spot right there, I guess. Yeah, well, let's make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Oh, they went outside. Oh, they got little builder pod things like off of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, the little miner pods. That's what they look like. That's kind of cool. All right, crew require beds and a toilet. Build the following object. Build bed for your crew. A uh, comfortable bed for your crew to sleep in gives better rest for your crew members than sleeping on the floor. For optimal rest, sleep, uh, sleep and comfort, create a walled bedroom for your crew members separated from noisy and uncomfortable facilities. Build a toilet for your crew. Okay. Place it in its own room to give your crew some privacy. Okay. So let me, let me do this. Let me, let me keep building here. Because I don't know how, I don't know how big the beds and stuff are. So let me just, let me add one more spot in just to make sure that we have plenty of spots. Okay. Um, hmm. No, that's not what I wanted. Objects. Here we go. Yes, I think this is what we wanted. Okay, so we've got four crew members. Let me go down here to furniture. Ah, here we go. So comfort is minus two. Minus 2 out of 20, minus 2, minus 2 out of 12. A basic bunk bed for two crew members to sleep in gives better rest for your crew members compared to sleeping on floors, but is not as comfortable as a single bed. Um, for optimum sleep, create a walled bedroom for your crew members separated from noisy. And that's, yeah, okay. So if I build this... And let me see here if we did. Mm. 
Yeah, let's just do that. Let me come down here to edit. Let me go to walls. Customize room look. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Hmm. Okay. I am a little bit confused. What what am I what am I doing wrong? I want this one. Okay, left click and drag is not doing anything. Right click is doing that. Do I place it with like middle mouse button or something? Like, no. Hmm. What am I missing here? No. Okay, what about... Okay, so I can put that in there. Oh, okay, I've got you. Okay, so basically what it was, what the other one, this one is just editing. I can change how it looks, I guess. If we, if we, yes, that's what it's about. Okay, that's a paint tool, basically. Okay, yep, yep, yep. I gotcha, I gotcha. All right, so that's a paint tool. Uh, we need, we need a toilet. Where is the toilet at? Um, furniture? Hmm. Life support? No. Deco? No. Storage? Uh, no. Food kitchen? No, 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 no. Where is it at? Okay. Toilet. There it is. Yeah, let's put a toilet in right there. And I don't know. I don't know if I can do a wall. Yeah, I really wish I could rotate this. Okay, so I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to put in more hole. Uh, I think that's going to be the only way I can get this done is we're going to have to make this just a tad bit bigger because I've got, I've got too much stuff going on right here. So let me do that. Yeah, because all of this stuff is kind of touching each other. Um, don't, don't build this. How do I cancel the build? No. Hmm. Okay, so they kind of built it already. Yeah, go outside and expand this because I think I'm going to slide it over one. Build light so your crew members can see. Okay, well, I'll do that here in just a moment. Uh, let me see. Yeah, let's move this. Can I fit it? Well, no, I'm going to have to have a bigger hole. Okay, hold on. More hole.
Okay, so let's turn this, and then let's get back into here. And we're going to go to objects. We're going to go to wall. Put a door in right there. Okay, so we have beds, we have a toilet. Um, let's see, what do we got? Current objective, build lights so your crew can see. We've got wall lights and we've got a lamp. Um, wall lights would probably be fine. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cool looking. Okay, so the crew members are now up. They ran over. I guess they got some food. They are constructing the toilet. They got that light in place. There we go. Toilet's good. They're using the toilet. Awesome. Let's slow things down. So now we got to build a kitchen or an algae dispenser. Uh, this kitchen prepares meals from raw food. Meals from the kitchen will help maintain optimum positive health uh, and mood for crew members. Once constructed, select the kitchen and open the settings to create your own meal recipes. Place a table and chairs nearby to create a proper dining room for your crew members. Okay. Algae dispenser. Nobody likes eating algae, but it's marginally better than starving to death. Keeps your crew alive, but can affect their health and mood due to unpleasant texture and suboptimal nutrition. Yeah, okay. Let me let me do that then. Let me get a kitchen. So that's what we'll do right here. We'll put a kitchen in. And then we'll go to decorations. No, furniture. We got furniture. I'm going to put in a table. Build a whole stabilizer. I will after I build a table. Did we build a table or did it take it away from us? It might have took it. There we go. Okay, so we've got our kitchen, we've got our table. Let me, hold on, let me select this. Um, settings. Fruits, vegetables, monster meat, human meat. Okay. Compensate missing ingredients. Uh, modify? No, I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, no, no idea on this one. Hmm. Yeah, we did that. Custom logistics priority. No. Okay. Uh. I guess we're just going to go with that and we'll do the next thing. All right. Hole stabilizers provide multiple functions for your spaceship. Stability. Hole stabilizers reinforce the spaceship's hull, strengthening its frame and generally improving structural integrity. Multiple stabilizers can work in unison to bolster the hull far beyond its normal limits. Hyper jump capability. Uh, sufficient hull stability is also needed for hyperspace jump capability, build a hole stabilizer. Okay, so this is a hole stabilizer, yeah? Okay. Okay. 
Okay, we're going to build that guy. And it's done. Hull stability achieved. Nice. All within a couple of days. All right. Current objective, establish water security. Uh, this water collector uh, collector reclaims water vapor from the air and condenses it back to liquid water. Place it close to grow beds for maximum efficiency. Okay. And then we've got a water purifier. Transforms ice purified water essentially for many life forms. Uh, more water can be acquired by mining ice asteroids and purifying the ice with a water purifier purifying facility. Once built, you can assign a refining job, purify ice to water by selecting the water purifier facility and opening it with the refine tab. Okay, so we need we need some sort of water reclamation. So let's let's get that going. I'm just gonna put this guy over here. And then I'm going to get this guy. There we go. Right there. All right. Objective not on high capacity grid. Okay. Expand the ship's high capacity power grid. Build one of the following objects, a small power node. This power node distributes high power, high capacity power to facilities and advanced facilities such as industrial facilities and ship attack and defense and defenses need high capacity power. Use this power node to expand the high capacity grid and ensure facilities with high power needs are covered. Uh, open up the power view mode to see how your grid is set up. Note that most facilities only need one or only need low capacity power, which is integrated and provided from the hull and does not need to be expanded. Okay. Okay. Do we got it? Did it build it? No, they went to sleep. Of course they went to sleep. Wake up, you lazy colonist or space travelers or whoever you are. Okay, there they go. All right. Current objective, mine an asteroid. Okay. A great way to produce more building blocks is by mining asteroids for raw resources and using various refineries to turn them into usable building blocks. More water can be acquired by mining ice asteroids and purifying the ice with a water purifying facility. Zoom out from your ship to the maximum zoom level. This will reveal the tactical map. Also accessed at the upper left taskbar. Note, this is not done in the star map. Stay in sector view. Uh, look for asteroids in your current sector and select the one that will open up an information window at the lower left part of the user interface with the asteroid selected click the mine button at the bottom left the tactical map will focus on the selected mining asteroid along with the one uh your ships as a destination 
Set the desired amount you want to be mined and watch crew members board. Okay, so basically we got to go mine now, yeah? So they're saying to come out here and there's ice. There is, I don't know what that is, um, Hyperium. Okay, so if we set four. Oh, are they over there mining it? Hold on, let me see. Ah, they are over there mining it. Okay, that's cool. That is cool. All right, so transform ice into purified water. So where is that at? Water purifier. Uh, refine. Continuous. See, H2O is vital to human and plant life used to grow beds. And oxygen generation is provided, uh, provide oxygen and food. Okay. So, yeah, just put it as continuous and we'll see what happens. Okay. Uh... Current objective, build a recycler, transform scrap materials into a variety of usable resources, release heat and is noisy, and close with walls and a spacesuit door to ensure a safe working environment. Hmm. Releases heat and is noisy and close with walls. Okay, so basically it's saying that this thing is a pain and you don't want it near any of your people. So come back over here. Let me add in a couple little hole pieces. Okay. Oh, that's a big facility. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be big enough. It might be big enough. Hmm. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So let me go back here. Let me let me add in one more section of hole. That way I can make sure this thing is is in a proper spot. Okay, so we got that. They're working on this. I'm gonna go ahead and move it. Remove it right there. All right, let's see. What does it say? Equip your crew member, select the crew member, and use the draft button at the lower left part of the user interface. The character is now in your manual control. After this action, move them close to the storage facility uh, and do some other stuff. Okay. Well, first off, I still gotta I still gotta move this, and then we still gotta put in a wall and a door. Come on. Must be nighttime again. Objective not on high capacity grid. Well, imagine that. So are you not going to build it because it's not on the grid? Or like, what's going on here? There it goes. Hmm, I guess do that and then we'll just put in a wall piece right here. Why can you not build right there? Uh, 
Oh, seriously? Huh. Odd. Okay, so do I need to... Do I need to do it down here then? Okay, that should work. And then we just got to put it back on the grid, which, uh, power? Small power module. Yeah, let's do that. And then, and then we'll do that. Okay, so what, what is the deal here? Cannot build here. This facility can be built on an asteroid station. But wait, I'm on an asteroid station. What is going on here? Maybe, maybe I need a bigger hole. Hold on. Yes, I bet you that, I bet you that's exactly what it is, is it's going to say I need a bigger hole. If I could just rotate, watch, I find out it's like the arrow keys or something. No, it's not WASD. Um, destructive environment temperature. Oh, we need to get the temperature up. Okay, hold on. I was like, why, why is this not, not work? It's because it switched. Uh, life support. Um, yeah, let's put, let's put you on the wall right over here. Okay, here comes the peoples, we've got the temperature, temperature is being regulated, so that's good, equip your crew members, alright, select the character and use the draft button. Uh, to lower the left part of the user interface. Okay, so select a crew member. Let's do let's do him, Chester. And then we'll select draft. And then what do you want me to do? Uh, after this action, move them close to a storage facility. Use the right mouse to click on the center of the storage facility. This will open the interaction menu. Click pick up interaction icon on the arm of your crew member. If the storage is empty and the ship has many storages, try another one until you find one with weapons. Okay, so basically it's wanting me to say, come over here to the storage. Um, arm. Punch. Pick up. No, I don't want you punching the machine. It literally said, pick the one with the arm. That was an arm. That was a fist. That was... What, what, what are you telling me here, game? Uh, after this action, move them to a storage facility. With the right mouse, click on an empty floor tile. Use the right mouse, click on the center of the storage facility. This will open up the interaction. Okay, so let me let me get... No, no, no. Let me get over here. Okay, right click. Right click isn't doing anything. Unless that's... Uh, I mean, it has a weapon there. Um, hang on. 
Okay, guys, sorry about that. I misread it. I'm supposed to have them drafted. Right click, put pick up. And I didn't realize that we couldn't pick up. I thought it was trying to pick up the machine. That's why I was like, no, I don't want you picking up the machine. So that one didn't work. So let me select my guy again. Let me come over here and do the same thing. Pick up over here. There is a weapon. Okay, so I'm just going to take the... Yeah, we're going to take that. Or can we... Is it... Do we drag and drop? What do we, what do we do in here? Okay, so we've got that. It's not letting me do a primary, though. Why? A uh, smooth bore weapon that fires a cluster of spherical pellets, devastating at close range. Skill required three. Okay, how do I know? How do I know your skills? You are a one on weapons. Ah, who is my? You are the one that has. Okay, so I want I want them to all be. All be uh, equipped here. So. We're going to come over here. You're going to get the primary. Do you get a secondary too? Ah, you do get a secondary. Nice. So come over here to... Hold on. I'm, I'm doing... I'm, I'm putting guns on people, game. You're going to have to excuse me for a second here. Draft this person. Come over here. What is, what is your stats? What is your skills? You are at a two on a weapon, so you get a secondary, okay? And you get drafted, and you also come over here and pick up a weapon. And you will get... You will also get a secondary, because I don't think your skill is that high either. Nope, okay, so everyone has what they have. And now I'm going to undraft everybody. Okay, they are all undrafted. All right, guys. Well, I think I think we're going to stop right here for today's video. We went just a little bit longer because I was trying to figure out what they meant because I, mis I misread the arm in the actual arm on the thing. Yeah, I got them confused. My bad. But anyway, I got that situated. So we've built some stuff. We built a couple of rooms. We've... Uh, We've done things, so, you know, things are happening, things are going on, and we'll see what's going on from here. But anyway, that is going to be it for today's video. I do hope everyone has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, just like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support, all the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.